Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing. Uh, this is a special October uh, seasonal episode because today, in the mail today, I got my October's edition of the Mystery Tackle Box uh, Elite Edition. So I'm going to pop right into this box, see what prizes or what uh, maybe fall transition baits that we got from, uh, from Mystery Tackle Box. <clears throat> now, I've, I've paid attention to a couple of other unboxing videos. Uh, they've been sort of hit and miss. I've seen a few, mostly the Pro Edition, um, that had a lot of baits and lures that I actually was intrigued by. Um, but uh, especially, you know, knowing the seasons and knowing my, my fishery and what the bass kind of go for at this time during that transition period. Uh, I don't, however, have a whole lot of faith in this box. Uh, if you know me and you know this channel, I do these unboxings. Uh, I keep very good track of the shipping information and I always check the weight of the box. Now this was almost a pound, but picking it up, it was a pretty light box uh, in comparison to some of the other ones I've had in the past, but that's not always a tell-all. Um, sometimes that could be a good thing because you'll have more baits and less terminal tackle. Along with that, a little sneak of something that I picked up from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, I broke down and I got myself uh, the SLX DC. Uh, this is the 7 gear ratio uh, HD 150. Um, I didn't go for the ultra speed. I could have, but uh, I decided to just go for the, the mid range because I can always crank a little faster or a little slower depending on what I want to do. But I'm interested to get an SLX rod, a nice heavy or uh, you know, a heavy rod to throw this on so I can uh, start flipping, pitching, and, and casting bombs out with this DC reel. So that's a little uh, teaser gimmick, but uh, I got that uh, from Tackle Warehouse uh, uh, last week. <laughs> but the juice of today's episode. So, Mystery Tackle Box. This is the Elite Edition. It's their top tier. Uh, they come in three styles. You have your Standard, your Pro, and your Elite. Uh, this being the top of the line at the moment. This is a all bass box. They do offer these in a multitude of different varieties, and they're now starting to uh, offer a style specific box. So if you're more of a flipping uh, and pitching kind of fisherman, they're going to start offering boxes attuned to that. If you're finesse fisherman, they're going to start offering boxes attuned to that. Um, but uh, I go for the uh, the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box because I'm primarily a bass fisherman up here. Uh, I long since have uh, left my saltwater days behind. As you can see, hasn't been opened yet, so we're going to bite into this box with the old trusty grandpa's old fillet knife and uh, see what, what they're offering for October 2019. <clears throat> Ta-da! <clears throat> As always, they've got the little fold-out measuring scale with their little social media uh, contests. If you're out there and you're catching panfish or bass or walleye or trout or anything for that matter, you measure it up, post the photos on social media and have a prize, uh, a possibility of winning a prize. So it's catch and win uh, thing. We've got a really cool um, 300 Sparta style sticker for uh, this October Halloween. I would have liked, I, I remember last they had the, uh, the pumpkin I would like something like that, but I guess uh, yeah, you know the Catch Co sticker with the <laughs> with the shield. That's that's a pretty cool sticker. I, I do like the, the the stained kind of black and white or black and off white um, picture. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, we've got a new color for the Dibble Digest. It's now in the green, uh, the same color as the Elite boxes. These used to be just black and white. Um, today's Dibbles Bass Dibble. Bass dibble, so it's specific uh, acronyms, pro tips. All right, the three jig fishing retrieves. So there's probably a jig in here. Uh, lunker hunting with square bill crankbaits. So if it's in the dibble, it's probably in the box. So I'm going to look for a crankbait, square bill, and a jig of some sort. As always, you can add things to your box to get objects from the Shop Carl's website and not pay shipping because it'll come in your next month's subscription box. The shipping will be included in the shipping of the actual box. So you can just add on things. There's also the contest to win $100 in account credits or $40 social share uh, for the pick of your box. And we've got two, four, six, eight, nine, nine baits today. 
in this Elite Edition. So we've got nine objects to go through uh, with Terminal Tackle included. Um, and we're going to stop, start as always, top to bottom. We don't have any big double digit items this time around. Uh, top of the line, starting off with a $9.99 Booyah Toad Runner. So, this is a cool bait. So we got a soft body frog. It's basically their rendition of um, the sprinkle or the tackle sprinkler frog, which is the, uh, the booted prop style frog, similar to uh, Whopper Plopper, but on the, the scale of frogs. So the Toad Runner, this is a really good color actually for me. I like these smoky uh, salt and pepper or clear and pepper flake style color schemes, real sticky hooks. I do tend to flare these out ever so slightly so they're, they're just a little bit more parallel to this hip so it's not so so forked in. I like to flare them back out so they're almost perfectly in line. Now these are uh, designed and if you actually look at one of these um, from the Booyah factories they actually put a little indentation in these soft plastic baits to almost expose those frog hooks a little bit to make them a little bit more weedless and more apt to come over. You can see I can stroke over the top without any fear of actually catching myself but knowing that with the slightest little bit of pressure and now I'm I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, so uh, there is that little indentation in the mold of the soft plastic body uh, that makes it a little weedless. So you have to be careful, don't flare it out too much or you'll negate that little cove and you'll be more apt to catch gunk on uh, on the hip sides of the, of the frog hook. But these are great, they do a lot of great action. They do come, as, as always, with a spare tail, which is definitely a plus. Anytime you have any kind of soft plastic uh, body part that might get torn off, um, I do like that they've started to push these with a slightly pulled back skirt. Uh, and, and a clear boot tail for me on these is a lot better than the chartreuse or the dark colors or the whites. You're less likely to get short strikes when them going after this. They're more apt to come up and catch the body of the frog. So your hookup ratio definitely is a little better than if you have that chartreuse one. Uh, honestly, it's just my opinion. Um, they'll tend to come at it from the side and swipe the tail or the boot, I should say, rather than the, 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 the skirting tails or the, the hook itself. Well, that's cool. $9.99 for the Booyah, uh, the pad, the uh, <coughs> Toad Runner. Next on the list is a Vexen's Fat Boy. Vexen's Fat Boy. This is a bass and game fish lure that dives four foot. It's a half ounce square bill, deep thud series from Vexen. Got that there. Good color pattern. Sort of an avocado color scheme. They call this Gold Ghost. I guess you can definitely see that, that gold tone in the in the top here but uh, from a distance and looking with the dark back plating it's it's got more of an avocado color scheme in my opinion um, again this one here is going to be seven dollars and ninety nine cents made of plastic it's not a balsa bait it's definitely got a large BBs in there with your low thump low slow thump too large uh, caverns in here for your BBs. Nice square bill. Comes with the little split ring on the front. Some people are obsessed with split rings on their on their baits. Um, it's, a, it's a give and take. There's two schools of thought. One of them I personally feel is wrong, <laughs> but it's based on tradition and just comfort. And the other one I find based on science and fact. The tradition, the comfort, the way people uh, think is for so many years growing up, baits came with split rings on the line tie. This acted more or less so that you could put a swivel on, your, on the end of your line and snap the swivel to the bait. Before they had the, you know, the clips, uh, the speed clips and, and things we have now today, um, these little split rings were absolutely perfect for that. You could pop on a little, you know, with a little bit of work, <laughs> just like putting on your keys on your keychain, 
you could pop a swivel onto this. It would prevent the line twist because now you had a swivel that gave you free uh, rotational movement. And you could then unpop this bait and put on something else without having to cut off or retie your swivel. Um, but a lot of people assume that these split rings will give you more freedom of movement than tying directly to the line tie loop. My personal experience is it's completely the opposite. When you have anything in, that's coming off on a different angle than the line tie loop, so the line tie is this way coming off, um, coming off vertically from, from, your, from your bait, and then you put a horizontal split ring, what you're causing is it will lock up left and right. So it will inhibit the action of the bait. If you were to tie direct to that line tie, it's just a thread coming off um, that will allow this to, to roll far greater left and right through the water column than having this, this uh, spring, spring clip here, this spring, uh, spr excuse me, <clears throat> uh, I'm fighting a cold, <laughs> but uh, th this, uh, this locks it up so the wobble is actually impeded um, obviously this could be, this a lot of times is designed, so they'll do that on purpose to make sure that it doesn't overwalk or start barrel rolling under the water, which of course you don't want to do. Um, you want it to have that specific action. Um, there's a lot of thought and math in all of these square bills uh, to make that action, uh, you know, do exactly what they want and, and do it each and every time the same way. So, there's the two schools of thought. I think that split rings impede the, the amount of walk that you'll get out of a square bill or, uh, or spy bait or any, any bait for that matter as far as hard baits go. Um, but a lot of people just think, oh no, if I tie directly to the line tie, that's what impedes the action. That's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't pass the mustard scientifically. Having less impeding or less objects that can bind means you'd have less imposition on the action of the bait. But to each their own, I understand growing up, if every, every hard bait you've ever had had a split ring on it from past growing up, you assume you just have to have it. If it's not there, it's no good. That's not true. And for the price of a split ring, if you really want, throw a split ring on. Big freaking deal. A lot of baits now come with or without. It doesn't matter. The bait really is subject to its hooks, its body profile, and it's, it's, uh, it's lip characteristics. Those are really what give you the drivers and weight, of course, um, uh, how it's balanced weight-wise. But those are the, the drivers that give you whether or not it's going to react and act the way you want under the water. All right, next, oh, sorry to talk off, I, I, you know me, <laughs> I trail off. Uh, Castaics, Cowboy Top Water. So we got for $7.99 again. Um, Castaic, I know that box. There we go, white and black. So we got a Castaics Cowboy Topwater. This is a half ounce, four inch long topwater bait. It's just a little cigar floating through the water. I like this color. Let's see, what do they call this? Castaics Cowboy in Bloody Chrome Perch. So it's a 14 gram Bloody Chrome Perch. We've got that little bit of red here on the gill area to mimic the bleeding out fish. We've got classic perch colors, the gold bronze, black back, silver sides with that hint of purple, almost like a rainbow trout. And of course the black denoted lines coming down, typical perch pattern. This one is sticking me in the pinky. <laughs> Definitely has some nice little tiny BBs in there for some rattle. That's going to rattle a lot when you're walking it back and forth. Walking this across the top water is definitely going to incite that top water bite. I'm totally going to enjoy adding this to my collection. I use these a lot um, at during the fall transition when the fish are going back to that top water bite. Uh, and of course in the spring when the top water bite is on fire. Um, I use this as a spy bait before I start 
throwing uh, frogs towards grass pads and lilies and stuff like that. Out in the open waters, I'll see if I can catch any in the open water before I start going into sheltered coves and, and, uh, and, and structure. Um, just to, you know, if you're going to entice uh, a structure fish that is really aggressive, a big fish, they'll come all the way out for these and they'll come up from, from clear water, uh, you know, deep water for these. So I like to keep those around as a spy bait as well as just for, you know, top water action. Next, we're dropping down a dollar. We've got the Z-Man's Chatterbait Elite. So I have some of these uh, as well. I, I have tons of Chatterbaits. So here's a black blue, and they call this, uh, let's see, yeah, black blue. It's a 3 8 3 8 Z-Man, the classic Elite edition chatterbait. The elites have a little bit um, different uh, line tie. They did, they went away from that quick snap thing to basically a spun wire line tie with two loops. Um, they did a little minute redesign on the blades themselves. And of course they redesigned the heads a little bit uh, for these elite editions. Um, they're, these are really great. I mean, these are definite uh, fish catchers. Anything Z-Man puts out seems to be... Uh, you know, in the upper echelon of, of quality and, and assuredness for, for catching a fish. That's six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Uh hyper elastics dart spin. This is not a brand I've ever heard of, so okay, I thought this was actually Okay. Well, there's three trademarks. I thought this was a dart spin brand, but no. Hyperlastics brand, soft tough. Well, well let's do it this way. Hyperlastics trademark, soft tuft. Trademark, dart spin, trademark, everything's trademark. <laughs> so you've got uh, two, a two count of this gold. They call this the uh, see through clear gold. This is a tail spinner, soft plastic, fluke, little dart. Not bad. I'll, I'll open up the pack. Why the heck not? Oh, I like this. So they come in a Ziploc baggie. That is good packaging. You got yourself a little Ziploc here. Seal and reseal. That's cool. All right, so there you go. It's the see-through transparent. It's got just a hue of gold to the entire uh, plastisol. Has the hook cutouts here. It's got the hook vent in the belly, two cores at the top, and a ton of foil, little ribbons running through it to give you that flash and shimmer as you're twisting this through the water with that nice little willow blade on the back, that good barrel spin spun in. So you can always replace this, obviously, if the bait uh, stays on and you happen to lose this, you can find these uh, tackle warehouse and uh, uh, stores like Dick's, even Walmart, um, with the screw lock keeper, <coughs> screw lock keeper, and uh, and throw a new one on. Um, you know, keep those in your in your tackle box just as replacements, and you can always screw them on. Plus, you can change out if you want to go for a different color. If you want to go for a silver blade, this one comes with gold, so that's always good to have those kinds of things in a side tackle ba tackle bag, um, just for tuning your baits based on what you get in your personal waterways. These are nice. I'm um, thinking these are what, about two inch maybe? Where were these? Let's see. These are, again, these are dart spin five and a half. So these are five and a half inch long little dart spins. That's pretty cool. I'll be interested to see what they get. I bet you this will probably catch a lot of different species. Um, I, I do like copper tones, gold tones, uh, over the silvers. Um, other than, of course, your shad pattern, um, the uh, the copper tones definitely do the do great for imitating your perch colors, uh, especially greens and coppers. Um, we do have bluegill, so the blue, green, silver that works for the bluegill in our in our uh, in my waterways. What what their basic forage is, but uh, but coppers never never let me down. So that was again. That was the Hyperlastics Soft Plastic Dart Spin, $6.99. Great Lakes Agitator. So I already know what this is from seeing a different video. This is 
basically an MTB's exclusive. Uh, we've got ourselves another perch pattern. Um, doesn't give you a color listing. Doesn't give you much of anything listing. Doesn't give me a weight. Doesn't give me a color. Doesn't give me a length. <laughs> Gives me a bunch of marketing. But this is basically a lipless crankbait rattle trap by Great Lakes, which I would say, as a Chinese-based company, I don't know, maybe Great Lakes Lures is another one of the Catchco brands. Not, don't quote me on that because I don't know, but it's worth the research to find out whether it is. Good set of BBs. You got a large one in the in the. Oh, excuse me. Got large two two large ones in the head to keep it nose down when swimming. And you've got a series of small shot uh, in two separate chambers, two in the tail and a handful in the midsection, um, just to give you that extra rattle. Tiny trebles, but very decent sticky trebles. So, you know, if they'll stick to your fingernail, they'll stick to a fish. That's for sure. Um, I do like this. I do like it. I, I mean, I like the perch pattern. Again, you got that that blue-green hue in the front This the transitions down to that amber with this standard perch-style black marks on the side. So that's always cool. Uh, moving right along, Owner's Own. Oh, God, I like Owner. Owner's one of my go-to brands. So we have Owner brand Sharky Football Head. Shucky, shucky, shucky football head. Uh, okay, the color is natural, which means it's not painted. It's not a natural tone like you'd see. It's just a unpainted football head. Three eighths ounce, and they got five odd hooks on them. You get a pack of three, which is a good thing. So, let's see if I can get this out of here. Typical stand up side style football head. Jig. So, football head jig, screw screw lock keeper, football profile, stand up design. It's actually got two facets. It's got a flat side on the bottom, and the stand up side on the face, and it roll transitions. So it's definitely good for bumping it off of rocks and structure. Um, and there's that that hook on the bottom. Owner hooks, always excellent, excellent hooks. Um, Daiichi says they're the world's sharpest. Uh, yeah, okay. Whatever. How do you judge? But uh, owner, owner's never let me down. Uh, Mustad's not let me down. There's There's been a lot of hooks. Basically, I don't buy the hype. I buy hooks based on what I need. I need a 5 aught. I'll get a hook that's a 5 aught, and it's got a profile or a design that I think will work for my application, and that's what I go to. Brand really doesn't mean all that much to me personally when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, those owner shaky head football head was $6.50 for the three pack. The, okay, now we definitely have something coming from Mystery Tackle themselves uh, from the shop Carl's. This is their own 10,000 fish brand. They have the Violet four pack. It's a four pack of strobe stripes. <laughs> it's enhanced with ultra reflective strobe stripes. Strobe strips, basically, it's just a piece of aluminum foil or, or mylar foil um, embedded in the, in the soft plastic. So, good for that. Catch Co's uh, 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmer. So, it's basically their Shimmer Shad, um, just a slightly different paddle tail profile. I do appreciate the clamshells. Keeps them nice and straight. Not that they stay in these very long. I pretty, pretty much always put them in the, uh, in the old... Bait boxes over there, but uh, you got this. There's that foil embossed in the center and midsection. A nice little small swim bait, very stretchy. The Catchco has good good quality. It's plastisol. Tons of little action. It's a very finessey. Um, it's a large profile boot tail for the size of the bait, uh, comparatively. And you can see the weight of that soft plastic in the foot in the uh, boot tail is definitely drooping it down. It would be nicer if this was a little bit thinner and less mass and it would hold a, a straighter, um, you know, a straighter plane. Uh, obviously though, it's buoyant, it's plastic, so it'll lift back up once it's in water. It doesn't really do it justice to look at it dry. It's more 
more intuitive to see what it does actually in the water and underwater. But uh, they got that purple eye, or purple backing, and the silver uh, foil in the clear body. And this is a five dollar and twenty nine cent bait. And finally, my ninth uh, product in this this month's mystery tackle box is going to be the Sweet Spot Tackle Shooter. And this is a sample pack. And I don't like sample packs in the Elite Edition boxes. But this is definitely, I don't think this company would send. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's not. There's a bunch in here. I thought there was only like three or four. I must eat crow. Let's see, you got three, six, seven. Okay, there's seven. Well, eight. There's eight in here. They're just tiny. Okay, so it's a full pack. I take my words. I'm sorry, MTB. That's a full pack. All right, so eight of these Sweet Spot Tackles um, shooters. And the Sweet Spot Tackle shooters, and this is a green pumpkin black flake. And this basically is a wonderful little drop shot finesse. Um, got that little bulbous tail that'll float. It's got your almost like your leech style pattern with a lot of really intricate little ribs that'll catch and displace water. I can definitely see this catching largemouth, smallmouth, uh, trout, perch, bluegill, crappie. Definitely a good bait for that. Decent length in profile as well. Uh, I'm going to say that's a definitely a good bait. That's a fish catcher right there. And there. I'm not in tune to this company. I don't know Sweet Spot Tackle. Uh, I don't have anything other than this bag to go off of, so I'll be interested to put them to the test and see how their baits uh, you know, do and work how the plastic holds up, and uh, be interested to see. Maybe it's something I can check out on the internet and uh, pick up more from this company if it's a, if it's a decent supply chain, a de decent soft plastic. Uh, especially for, uh, you know, growing my, my, my tackle when it comes to drop shots and uh, more finesse fishing. And this is a $3.99 item. So to uh, end this up, we've got the $3.99 for the Sweet Spots Shooters, a bag of eight. We've got the $5.29 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmers. Those are those purple ones. We've got the owner's unpainted football head uh, jigs. Those are going to be uh, $6.50. The Great Lates Agitator, which is basically a rattle trap with a perch tone. That's going to be $6.99. The Hyperlastics Dart Spin, those tail spin uh, soft plastic baits, they're $6.99. The Z-Man's Elite uh, Edition Chatter Bait, that's going to be $6.99. The Castaix Cowboy Topwater, that one's going to be $7.99. I'm looking forward to throwing that. Vexen's Fat Boy, that one's going to be $7.99. And the Booyah Toad Runner, to add to the millions and millions and millions of toads that I have and own, and, uh, and frogs that I own, um, that's going to be $9.99. So, all in all, this is a mid-level priced box all the way down. I mean, we're starting with uh, $9.99 is the highest product. Uh, price point, it's overall, from what I see in the transition, the water getting colder, I think they've balanced this pretty well. You've got your top water, you've got your mid-water column, you've got your rattle trap, uh, lipless baits, you've got a crankbait in here. Um, yeah, you've got pretty much everything you need for this transitional period to get everything from the still aggressive and active fish uh, uh, bass right down to the lethargic, uh, you know, going deep. Um, and, and, and shedding off to the winter, uh, to their winter holdups style bass fishing. So everything from finesse to, uh, to action to, uh, to how ultra fast fishing, uh, is, is basically covered in this. So another good box, uh, it's not a mind blower this month. <clears throat> There's some things in other boxes I wished I got, but hey, that's what they get. This is what I got. And that's what mystery tackle box is all about. You never know exactly what you're going to, you're going to get in your box. But a lot of times, nine times out of ten, it's stuff that you will catch fish on. Um, I hope this was uh, enjoyable. Stay tuned and keep that bell notification on for my upcoming Angler's Haul box, which will be coming shortly. I was happy to see this uh, today, and I thought I'd have fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting the DC SLX on a nice reel, or excuse me, on a nice rod, and putting this reel to the test. Um, if you like this, subscribe. Hit the bells, stay attuned to my next videos. I'll be probably increasing uh, video output coming up shortly. Uh, my new job does afford me a lot of vacation days and days off, 
holidays. So uh, um, be looking forward to putting out more content and getting more out in nature content as opposed to just chilling in the man cave here in the in the uh, little foul mouth family room. So thank you all you happy hooky hookaholics. Hooky. No, we're not playing hooky. Uh, <laughs> thank you all you happy hookaholics for uh, for spending this, this little bit of time with me. I hope this has been informative. Um, if you got different baits in your box and or you thought some of my baits were good or crap, leave a comment down below, share and, and explain what you feel. Um, share this video with your friends, get more people in tune to the uh, to the foul mouth fishing channel and we're gonna reach that 500 goal when we do I've got the $50 gift card I've got a big box of foul mouth fishing uh, goodies and swag and things for a you know for a lucky viewer so when I hit 500 I'm gonna throw out a whole bunch of stuff just like I've done in the past with my uh, my other giveaways um, as always tight lines and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast peace